Hi friends, today I'm gonna show you how to install and set up Nivo Slider on your Drupal site. This tutorial is based on the Views Nivo Slider module. Nivo Slider is the most awesome jQuery image slider, which is integrated with Views and Image Cache modules. Before we start, I just gonna show you how the Nivo Slider looks like. This is how the Nivo slider looks like. So I'm gonna show you how we can set it up. So here in my tutorial section I have already created a tutorial how to install and set up Nivo slider on Drupal. So as you can see here we need lots of modules to set the Nivo slider to work well on Drupal. We need around 9 modules which is CCK or Content Construction Kit, Views, Views Nivo Slider, jQuery Update, Image Cache, Image API, Image Field, File Field, and Link Field. Total 9 modules we need to work Nivo Slider properly on Drupal. So let's get started. First we need to download all these modules. So go to Drupal site and download or if you find it very difficult to to find all these modules on Drupal, you can come to my site and go to the tutorial section and click on how to install and set up Nivo Slider on Drupal and here I have enabled all the links or click on these modules and you, it will take you to the Drupal sites module section. Okay, now let's download all these modules. Go to Drupal site and download the um, content construction kit or the CCK module download and the next module we need is views so go to views and download the latest version of views module the next module we need is views nivo slider and download views nivo slider the next module we need is jQuery update uh, and then we download jQuery update module uh, image cache download image cache and we need uh, image API download image API module and we need image field download image field then we need file field download file field module too and the last module we need is link field and download the link field module too and now we have downloaded all our nine modules the next thing is installing all these modules to our Drupal site directory called sites all modules make sure it is sites all modules so go to our Drupal site so here I'm using MAMP as my local host so open my MAMP okay next I'm using MAMP so I gotta go to my application folder and MAMP HD docs and here is my Drupal site Drupal and here go to sites all modules maybe you can't find the modules if you are uh, fresh installing uh, because uh, Drupal doesn't comes with a module directory or the default Drupal doesn't have a directory called modules or themes you have to create it by yourself so here I have already one module called CK editor I'm just going to drag and drop all the downloaded modules all these nine modules to this directory called modules so drag and drop it here and now we're gonna extract all these modules so let's download extract CCK module okay now we have extracted all these modules and we don't need these zip files anymore we just trash it arrange by name 
okay now we have all our nine modules we have uploaded to our sites or modules directory the next thing we need to go do is go to our map or your Drupal site and Drupal and log into my site or okay next go to administer and modules okay now we can see here our new modules are here I have already enabled all these modules here from CCK you need all the modules to work properly so enable CCK module everything like content content copy content permission field group file field uh, actually file field meta tag you can't enable because you need to get a get ID 3 module uh, but we don't need this module here for working views nivo slider so we don't need that now anyway and the next module is image field link field node reference number option widgets text and user reference these are the modules we have to enable in CCK module and the next one is scroll down and go to image cache enable all the modules in image cache image API image API GD2 image API image magic image cache and image cache UI the next thing we need is user interface module which is jQuery update and views views report exporter sorry <laughs> views nivo slider and views UI these are the modules we need to work views nivo slider okay click save configurations next thing we need to do is go to administer go to content types we have to create a new content type in default Drupal site we have only two types of contents which is story and page so we can create as many content types as we want so don't worry about that so we are gonna create a new content type so click add content type here you have to give a human readable name which means we can give any type of name so we are gonna create a featured slider so we are gonna give this name as a featured slider okay the next is called type and here you have to give a machine readable name so I'm going to give featured underscore slider and this description is for um, like you know if someone else checking your sites or some other user if you give the permission to access your site and there's a featured slider and you don't he doesn't know or she doesn't know what it is so to make them understand this is what it is you know so you gotta give uh, some description called okay home page featured image slider oh you can give any type of content here and here you have lots of settings like submission form settings workflow settings and comment settings and so on so anyway I'm going to disable the comment settings here because I don't want to get this comments for the feature slider that's it and you can set up lots of things here anyway now I just put it as it is so save content type and you can see here our new content type has been created which is feature slider so we have to create some fields so click on here manage fields go to manage fields and so we need is um, image field so we gonna create an image field so since this is a label we can give capital letter or you know image I okay image next we need to create a field so here you have to write everything in small letter I am a G E image okay image and here you have to create a file field type as file make sure you are selecting the field type as file not any other file and here image not file upload its image and click save 